Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. This is Ron Bubba presenting you, well, this video. And in today's video I'm basically just going to do another comparison, it's like I did previously, except today we have the upgraded version of Continuum 2.1, which is the beta build 24, and Continuum RT, which is currently build 20, I think. I am going to start off with Continuum RT build 20, and if I'm right, this should be the latest one. You can access these by buying them off the Continuum graphics website, and well, you can get it using the Focal Engine. Now, I'm just going to have a look at this, and right now I am running it with 59 FPS, 58, which is definitely an improvement from, from last time. If I move around, it, yeah, it is, it is a way better improvement with my frames per second. As for the, well, lighting, I don't, I still don't see any shadows on these things, and um, it, it genuinely looks decent. Like this is base. We're just we're just talking about base design. But yeah, no. Only only the shadows from like blocks and stuff, not from the grass. We have shadows from the trees. Um obviously we have the refractions. This is base, beta build twenty four. And keep in mind that this is not a ray traced, path traced shader, like I've said in all my previous videos. Um so I you definitely can expect it to run even more smoother running at 96 fps 100 it's honestly it's it's even above 100 look at that go it's 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 really good you have the moving foliage and uh, obviously shadows with the foliage uh shadows with the mobs as well like with the with the other mobs however the 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 shadows on as as defined and as good as rt's base shadows but you you can definitely see a lot more stuff and you can also see the volumetric cloud the sun and um, yeah, honestly, if if we go to the water, we don't we don't have the active refractions, but this shader does have active refractions. If I'm not if I'm not wrong, if I go to materials, what am I doing? What is this? What is what is this? Ah, there we go. Refra view dependent refractions. If I turn this on, it does work, but but it is still buggy. So continuum, just take a look at this. See, the refractions do work, except you can you can sort of see the bugs over over here where my cursor is. Now, if I go to RT and we do a few tweaks, let's see what we can do. Ray tracing. I'm not gonna turn that on max because it's gonna make my PC take off. Um, and we don't want that material settings. What can I do? No clue what this is. Don't matter. Atmosphere, volumetric clouds. Okay, we want that one. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Gonna put that to seven, actually, because I. Feel, why not? Wait, there was lighting. So hold on. Sunlight shelf shadow. There is no definition for it, so I'm gonna turn it on because I don't know what it is. But we're gonna find out. Yup, that's great. Planar cloud. Yup, we have that one. Guys, this is the most advanced settings ever. We have nothing to turn on over here. Michelin. Okay. Nope. Okay. Yeah. We're 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 cool for now. And well, yeah. It it definitely does does look better in my opinion. It's yeah. That that is really cool. But yeah, the, the base the base shadows are too too literally too good looking. I mean, it is it, this is what it's supposed to focus on. It's supposed to focus on the lighting and uh, the the lighting part and reflections side of things. But <coughs> no no light no shadows on the grass. But we don't we don't talk about that. It's fine, continuum. It's it's oh no look no shadows on the on the animals. It's fine, continuum. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, guys. The the developers are working on everything. But as you can see, it is it is way um the reflections are just astonishing. Honestly, it it just it just looks too good. Let's see what we can do with well beta build and how that looks. And oh, would you look at that? The shadow the the clouds reflect on the water. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Now um if if I go to um well two point one, let's let's take a look what they have. 
So if I go to Lightning, the Shadows 2k. I'll, I'll set it to 4k because I feel like 8k is going to blow my PC up. No? Oh, it handled it. Surprisingly well. Okay, Reflections. So basically 2.1 definitely has a lot more options, and that's because um, it, is, it is more developed as well. I'm not going to send that one because I don't like it, but okay, it is more developed. It does do more stuff. It does have more options, which I have no clue. This is why I don't get into this type of stuff. Right, okay. What is this? Moon Luminosity. That is really cool. I'm going to act like I know what that is. Well, I have a feeling I know what it is, but um, that is really cool. Volumetric Water. Yeah, okay. Okay. Maximum step what? Shapes. You know, that's a 7, why not? Um, this does have puddle settings. It should have puddle settings, and we want to send Cloud Shadows on. Light sync, skybox, what, is, what even is skybox? Anyway, we already had a look at that. Planar clouds, these are already set. Material, puddle settings, there we go. Yeah, it should have it. It, it should have it. I'm not going to go through this because I don't have a resource pack activated. But yeah, no, let's, let's take a look at this. But yeah, no, let's, let's take a look at this. Yeah, it, it, it does. It, it does look better, and as you can see, like, when the, when the sun is covered by the clouds, it, isn't as bright, but when the cloud moves away from the sun, it is. See, it's getting darker. The cloud, yeah, this is this is odd, more defined. Can I can I set this to wait? How much FPS am I on? And I'm still running with above 60 FPS. That that is just crazy. That that is crazy, man. All right, jumping into into this, we need to cover the weather and the time of day. So if I do slash. I'm just going to do actually shift forward. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. If I do slash weather rain. Oh boy. Yup. You guys can see the problem. Rain, if I look down, but if I look above the what is rendered. I'm not, I'm not going to see. Yeah. Yeah, no. This, 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 this isn't, this isn't working out. So def there's definitely a lot more stuff that Continuum can do with RT. And it definitely has a lot that needs improving. However, if I'm with uh, Beta Build 24, Continuum 2.1, and I do slash weather rain, as you can see, not only do you, it gets cloudy first, the clouds start to fill the sky, which is a really, really good detail. The water droplets, all the rain is also darker, like as if it's real rain. The waves seem to be more agitated. It's darker, the clouds, that reflects on the water, which is really cool. Not only that, but you do get the, um, the average puddle that you're looking for. If I, if I look carefully on a different color block, you, you can also see the reflection. If I look, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Which is which is a really good detail, just like it is in real life. Just really cool. Like I really like that. If I get let's say plank. Yeah, look at that. Whilst getting a decent 70 plus frames per second. And if I do slash weather clear, the sky will start to, well, the clouds will start retreating slowly. Rain stops. It is still quite wet on the floor because you can see the reflections are out of hand. Which is a really nice detail. And. Yeah, it just, just goes back to normal. With Continuum RT20, if I do slash time, set night, would you look at that? Except I don't know why the water is glowing. <laughs> Can it be, wait, could it be from like the light? Oh, wow. There you go. This. This is why I tend to like continue RT more. This is the exact reason why I tend to like continue RT more. It is this very picture why I tend to like this more. But you look at that. 
Now that is impressive, ladies and gents. That is really impressive. Really, really impressive. With beta build 24, if I do slash time set night. Still, still looks good, don't get me wrong. Still looks good, it just has that different vibe to it, but still, still, still looks absolutely amazing. If I go into the water more. Still has that really good looking vibe to it, again. Again, looks really beautiful, just not, not as good as RT, in my opinion. But yet again, RT focuses on that. But, Bobo, why do you like RT so much? Like, what other stuff does it offer that, well, sells me the idea? Well, I'm going to show you exactly this. I'm going to go into settings, shader options, I'm going to go into material settings, and material override settings, and these two things are the things that I really love about this data is the Seuss PTG emissives, which are the lapis emerald and redstone blocks that can be considered emissive. And I'm pretty sure yeah, no. And the emissive concrete powder, which in one of the video I did showcase what it does. And I'm going to show you right about now how that is going to look and you're gonna have to bear with me because there's a special reason why I did all this, but I've created this sort of mini layout thing. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Right, okay. So as you can see, Continuum does extraordinarily well with the uh, lighting. But there's a special reason, and that is this. You might not think much of it now. What about now? Not convinced? Okay. What about now? That's, that's what I mean. It, it emits light just like the Seuss BTGI series does with the uh, Lapis Emerald and uh, Redstone. Like so. And I could do this. This this is why I like Continuum. And I can do this. Give it a mix. Make the blue stronger make the red stronger it's 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 just really really cool like so feels like a Star Wars episode and not only that this which is by far the most impressive thing I've seen So well done Continuum, I absolutely love this feature. Now I'm not sure how the grave is going to emit any lighting. Yet it does, it emits. This is crazy. This this is absolutely insane, but this is, this is why I love, oh, okay. This is why I love Continuum. Just look at that level of detail. If I'm right, and I do this properly, if I break this, like so, close this up, and I do, well, I'm, I'm just going to place that now. Let's have that. It, it just looks amazing, doesn't it? It's, yeah, no, Continuum. Points go all to you, because this is, this is really cool. And am I not only going to do that, but I'm also going to do this. I'm just going to get more powder. Let's let's even throw a pink one in there. 
and I'm gonna shut this off. And it's gonna look something like this. Points all to continue. So, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. It has been a pleasure to be with you. And I'm just gonna... No. So yeah, thank you. It has been a real pleasure to do this with you. If you guys need anything, just please tell me, comment down below what your thoughts are. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And speaking of, well, which one's better and stuff, there is no better one. If you guys are looking for more stable gameplay, like I've said in my other videos, and you just like to have all the basic and even more features of Minecraft, then Continuum Beta build, Continuum 2.1, will get the job done. And more than that. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. If you guys want to test more stuff out, if you guys know more about developing RT, ray tracing, all of that type of stuff, then, and then go for this one. But keep in mind, it is more demanding. It doesn't have full features. And, well, it is, it is what it is. So, thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.